contributor to the Hoosier State Rail Line is planning on pulling out of a deal to help fund it. News 18's Holly Campbell reports if that money is lost and the deal is not covered, local communities will be forced to do the same. To say it's in jeopardy would be an understatement. After agreeing to a one year deal with NDOT last year to keep the Hoosier State Line running, NDOT's Bob Zier says the city of Indianapolis plans on calling it quits at the end of September. We will have a shortfall of $300,000 if Indianapolis goes forward with their plan not to participate in the program of the Hoosier State. Last year, NDOT struck a deal with local communities to cover the costs. NDOT would pay 50%, leaving communities like Lafayette, West Lafayette, and Tippecanoe County to cover half of the $223,000 a month needed to keep it running. If Indianapolis pulls out and NDOT or some other entity is not able to absorb their portion of this, and it had to be divided among the current suppliers of the money, we, we would not be able to do that and we would have to pull out. Without others along the route contributing, this could actually be sort of the death knell for that line. If we don't have a 50-50 partnership, then the state will get out of the business of, of running the Hoosier State. Earlier this month, the state announced it struck a deal with Corridor Capital LLC in Chicago to improve the line, increasing the overall operation costs. We are at you know, a very critical point here, and there's a very good chance that, uh, you know, the Hoosier State will, will not continue. Zier says he is working with Corridor Capital to see if overall costs to run the line can be lowered. He says he is also working with Indianapolis to get them back on board with helping fund the line. Holly Campbell, News 18.